Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of The Last Campfire. Last time we left off, we made it here to like the Lost Woods or whatever. And now we've- oh, did I never get this? Now we've got to figure out how to get Remember through here. I found a scrap of journal. I heard them coming. The snap of a twig, a flutter of birds. A figure dashing through the undergrowth. Another like me? Interesting. Someone is being chased. Uh, okay, so we're in this room currently, and we're gonna go across, and that'll get us to a new place that we've never been before. Kodak. A section of bridge had somehow been ripped from its foundations. Alright, well, here we are. This is where we're supposed to be now. It was like the map had been broken on purpose. Hmm. Okay, so we got another one of these slidey puzzles. And I... Okay, I can't just pull you out that way. Good. There we go. Gimme. Is mine. Alright, so... All the way back to the map now. Imagine we're just going to get enough pieces to where we can go in just about every single location on the map. I wonder just how many different locations there are, though. I think they were marked. For the most part. Yeah. Yeah, they marked them. Okay. Let's go ahead and slot you in there. Why don't... Whoop. I said slot you in there. There we go. Okay, so we haven't been to this one. So why don't we just go ahead and move you right there? And we just go straight up into this next room. Um. How? How, I say. I guess. Oh, well, yeah, I guess I. I do know how, but f first we'll go over here and solve this, but yeah, I know how to get to that. The mist revealed a secret place. Was it hidden on purpose? Maybe. Uh... Well, I imagine I want to get you down, right? Uh... Can I not just toss you down? Because there's a, there's a thing down there. No, it doesn't look like it's going to let me just throw you down. I suppose you could be fragile. So that might not be the best idea. And it looks like you turned this stuff. Hello. The stranger spoke. You know, part of me didn't want to be found. I said some things I shouldn't have. And now I'm lost. And it's too late. No, don't think that. Uh, ooh, okay. All right, okay, so that's probably what needs to happen here. Got it, got it. So we want to go down here, and we want to grab you. We want to put you on here, and we want to go ahead and take a trip up here and send you on a journey, friends. And there we go. Grab you. Just using, just using elevators. I still wish we could have just dropped you down, but I suppose that's rude, you know? If, there, if there's a way for us to get you down safely, we, sh we should probably do that. Uh, okay. There we go. And down we go. Blop, 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 blop. Alright, cool. We made it. And now we plop you down on there. Hi. Room. Melody Cave, the source of sadness. Uh... Alright. Hello. The skeleton looked peaceful. Held tightly in its hand was a red feather. Yep, just like the red feather I got. Uh, how do I get down there to you? I'd like to get down there to you. Let's see what this does. A lanthorn, a sacred instrument with the power to move the world. Oh no, that's going to make puzzles much more difficult, isn't it? 
the statue spoke. Just as it once moved the hearts of the forlorn, the instrument you now hold has the power to move the world around you. Another before you took great effort to hide it deep within this riddle. I see. Okay, so how do I... The lanthorn began to glow. Um... Okay, why? That's what I was- that's what I was wondering. There we go, so it's only things with this... Like, kind of pattern on it, I imagine. There we go. Hidden inside was the wondrous gem. Another face at last. A catcher of fish resting by a pond. We work together, silk and tar and aching fingers. My boat floats once more, though I almost wish to stay. Hmm, so the wanderer found the uh, fisherman that we found. Interesting. Oh, okay, we just, we just want to do this. I think. Yeah. There we go. And boom. Alright, we are out of here. Puzzle solved. Like the genius that I am not. Okay, and yeah, there was nothing else up there, but there's another journal entry back here that we want to go get now that we have this power. Womp. My cats are just flipping out, chasing each other. Inside was a secret diary entry. Pink, orange, red, brown, leaves gently dancing to the ground. Crunch, crackle, lovely sound, fall into a giant mound. Somebody likes their leaves. I don't know how to get up to that one, but I imagine... Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't really seem like there's a good way to get over there from here. Yeah, alright. There must be some way to get up higher? Somehow? Yeah, I'm not sure how that would be either. There was one last place to reach on the map. Oh, wait. We've been in that room before. Um, let's... Let's move you over here. And let's see if um, we can get to that treasure chest up there if we go this way. Because, yeah, wasn't it chilling up there? No? Okay, no, no, no. This was just like a dead end, basically. Huh, how do I get to that treasure chest that was up on that cliff then? Yeah, I'm not sure, because it only seems to be in that one configuration. So... I am not sure. But, uh, let's go ahead and do... That... Uh... Is that what we need to do? Let's see. No, because we, we need you down here. We need you right there. Yeah, and then we probably just need you up here. There we go. Alright. Here's hoping that works. I imagine there's a configuration that lets you get to that thing on the cliff that I'm... Uh, that I was uh, missing. I hope there's something that lets you do that. Huh. Yeah, I don't see it. Mm. I don't know how to get up there. Weird. Uh, we gotta move you. Oh, we turn you. Okay. Didn't expect that. Interesting. <laughs> All right. And it felt a great relief to be out of the mist. We are out of the mist. We left the journal entry behind, but. I'm not going to freak out over finding all of those too much, but uh, I would like to find them if I can see the solution. Can't move a barrel. 
Uh, ah. We can move you? Weird. Not sure why. Huh. The way through was ruined. Muffled by the fog, Ember was sure they heard a rumble. Could that have been a tremendous snow? Uh, I don't like the sound of that. Don't like the sound of that one bit. That's what I say. Um, okay, so you. How do I... Ah, there we go. That's what I was trying to do. I, I, I was, like, trying to move it to the side, move it to the left, move it up. But, no, we just had to move it down. I mean, yeah, like, down to pull it out of the wall, basically. Alright, evil, there we go. Oh, wait, is there anything... Over here, where we pulled it out? No. Oh, we can walk inside the wall there, though. Interesting. Um, I thought maybe they'd hide a secret in there or something. But no. Just uh, a wall I can just clip right through. Yay! Ember didn't mind getting muddy. The slide was such fun. Indeed, it looked like it was. That looks like a not happy plant. What are you doing here, piranha plant? This is a Mario. <laughs> Uh, is that a dead pig? No, it's just a sleepy pig. A sleeping pig. Trotters in the air. They looked happy. Yeah, they're in a pile of garbage. I bet that pig is happy. Hello, you don't look friendly. The plant looked like it could take a hand off, and it was in Ember's way. Ah. Uh, yep, it's not friendly. Damn you, piranha plant. What do we got? What is this? The fruit was giving off a sickly sweet smell. So A to drop items. Here you go. You want a fruit? Aha. Uh -huh. The plant looked like and it was an ember's way. Uh is there another fruit? There is another fruit. Maybe I give it to the pig and the pig eats the plant? I at least, like, filled the plant's mouth up for a few seconds. Hi, pig. Ooh. Yes, come on. Come on, friend. Come deal with this plant, why don't you? There you go. Eat the plant. Ember chuckled. The dangerous plant was no match for a hungry piggy. Pigs are actually pretty, uh, scary and powerful. You wouldn't think so, but pi pigs can- pigs can mess things up. Uh... Okay, I can move these. I was wondering. Get out of there. There we go. And you... Blop, blop. Uh, can't crush myself. Unfortunate, you know. I always... I always think about how I could crush myself. Sadly, the game will not let me. Oh, wait, what is this? Can we get up there? We can. Where do you go? I see you. I see you hiding here. What is the point of you? Hmm. Oh, this is just a shortcut back because there's a tree we pushed down right there. Okay, okay. I just, you know, I thought I discovered something special. But no. A hideous odor filled the air. Hmm. Got some funky music playing now. Yee. Oh, it's all these rotting fruit, I guess. And suddenly, the reason was obvious. Ugh. Oh, jeez. That's a big boy. TV? Why do I? Why would I want a TV? No, down TV. We can jump across these. A lost message was inside. The mist is thick. One way blurs into another. Where do I end? Where does the world begin? I cannot see far enough to tell. Who knows? We ask ourselves that every day, we do. Hop, hop, hop. Okay, I don't know what the point is of that TV yet, but... It was, uh. Do you see that? That rock tried to kill me. Uh, can I move you? 
I can. Uh, actually, let's move you right here. Sounds like a good idea. Ember found a secret note from the Wanderer. Something beckons. This place is not home. I trace the map in my head, recite the older myths. I have to move on. Gotta move on. Hello, you. Is that the Wanderer, I wonder? <laughs> I feel like the Wanderer is some old, like, old character that's been doing this for a while, but it could just be the character that's ahead of us, too, I feel. Alright, so we got a fruit there. I'm not quite sure the reason of that yet, though. Pig inhaled a giant snort of air. Wait, what's that delicious smell? Ember shuffled nervously. Other embers fed me treats. But then, stopped. You feed me now. Sure thing, I can, I can do this. Here you go, I got you a fruit. That smells disgusting, apparently. That's one way to eat. Fruity, fresh, but tastes a lot like mud. But what I want is something with more crunch. Something with more crunch, if eh? You could eat anything. Ember just needed to find more. It was junk. Maybe the pig would eat some junk. Uh, are we really gonna feed the pig a TV? <laughs> I didn't think that's what this is gonna be used for. That certainly has crunch. And with each thing it ate, the light grew even brighter. Surprising. A little sparky, but tingly and belly. But what I want is... something with more crunch. Even more than that? What do I gotta get you, a rock? Perhaps if Ember could satisfy the pig, they might be more helpful. Okay, um... One of those might have a bit of crunch for you, friend. Fortunately, I don't know how to get to those. I can't do anything? No. Alright, well, let's walk past you. Okay. Can't do anything there. Hmm. Can't do anything there. Ember came upon another campfire lost in the wilderness. Ooh. It looked long cold, but ready to be lit. The ghost said, speak and I will listen. Where am I? This is the Hollow Marsh. Here hope was consumed before it could flourish. You must not lose hope, or you too will turn forlorn. Ember thought of those they loved, those they'd left behind. I want to help others. There are others lost along their journey. Find them and I will guide them. Help me. Down steps to your east, travel the path south, watching a pig grow unhappy, a forlorn lost hope. Alright, will do. We can go help out our pig friend. Let's also lower this. I don't know where that goes, but we'll lower it just in case. The skull was disgusting. Perhaps the pig would like it. Oh jeez. No, oh, I don't want to feed the pig a skull. That's just rude. And disrespectful. Also, I want to see about doing some stuff back here. So... Yeah, this is where we were at before, right? Oh, I can't bring this down with me? Apparently not. Okay, so we're gonna have to- wait, is the- Okay, whew, I thought the skull was stuck for a second. I was very, very worried. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna have to run back to the pig. 
this way, but that leads us back to the other area that I want to go to, so we'll come back to that in just a second. But first, we gotta go feed our piggy friend. The big glutton. Also, that looks like something we can move around. Maybe I should try that. Hi, friends. I got a skull for you. I don't know how this has more crunch than a TV, but, uh, <laughs> we'll give it a shot, I guess. Here you this go, friend. the last thing Ember could find to offer. Crunchy, emery, not much meat, bit too bony. But what I want is the pig's stomach made an almighty sound. Ember chuckled with relief at the large creature they had been so afraid of. Okay, I guess we solved that problem, huh? <laughs> Weird. I was making a lot of questionable noises. I was worried what was about to happen. <laughs> I was like, is this thing just going to projectile itself away? Like some sort of shit-infused rocket? That's what I thought for a second, for a second. I thought we were about to go, like, into Conker's Bad Fur Day territory. Hello, what is this? A chest. That is what Ember it is. found a lost message. The smell of hot broth and hearty stew wafts across the swamp. By the cook's pot, I meet another. They are on their own path, but we promise to meet again. Yeah, I still remember that about the cook. We gotta, like, keep telling them that the broth is wrong, and they'll just keep giving us more broth. Free food. Hello. Nothing? Alright, you're just napping. Got it. Alright, yeah, there should be a shortcut. Get back over here. Not that I really need to, but... Inside was a scrap of journal. In the orchard, I meet the stranger from the cook's fire. A stranger no longer. Together, we fill their satchel. Food and memories for the road ahead. I see. Alright, up we go. So you're not waking up. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna deal with this forlorn soul, I think. Alright, friend. I'm here to help. High expectations. Mm. The stranger had come so very far. Ah, so we can climb over those things with it. Huh. Well, I got here, but what now? Hmm. I imagine I need to get, like, both of them there? But how would I go about doing that? On, like, these, like, slots up here? Hmm. I'm not sure. Yeah, what exactly am I supposed to be doing here? Can I... Okay, these aren't more that I can pull out. My friend, oh wait, does that just make me leave? Oh, it does. Whoops. Whoops. I've never actually done that before, so I didn't know what it did. But yeah, that just, that just takes me out. Okay. Sending all the, the way. Had come so very far. Okay, I think maybe I see what I need to do here. Maybe. Uh, let's move you right there. Alright, and then let's move you back over here. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, and get you... So I can walk on you. I suppose we could just go around this little thing in the middle. That works, right? 
because if I drop onto that, then I won't be able to get up onto the next one because Ember can't jump at all. So I'm thinking this is what I gotta do. Ah, oh, but now I can't get up there. Hmm. It's a bit of a predicament, isn't it? Yeah, I need to be high enough to get up there. Which I am not. Hmm. Hmm. How do I do that? Okay, we can get you there. Alright, well, let, let's just go ahead and get myself off of this. So I'm not like stuck here anymore because evidently this was not the correct thing to do I thought it was but no all right so the main problem is I just don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here per se like we can obviously only inter only interact with those really but what am I supposed to be doing with these is the question. I guess I'm going to go ahead and cut and uh, I'll see you when I make some semblance of progress slash find out what is what it is exactly that I'm supposed to be doing. Will this work? Oh, it does. Okay, that's what we were supposed to do. Alright, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, let's go ahead and drop you down here so I can get over here. Yeah, alright, so we were supposed to get them to, like, walk on each other. I didn't even have to cut for that. And I probably won't. Um... Okay, but now... Yeah, if I do that, it lowers you. Okay, let's put you back on there. Um, so, probably... Mm, mm. How am I supposed to get another one up there? I am not sure. I mean, I can get that up there, but... Hmm. What does that do, I wonder? Probably not anything useful. Not really. Yeah. Nothing too interesting. Huh. I'm just not really sure, because this platform has to be raised, I think, for me to actually get up there. Maybe not? Let's see. Mm, no. No. I just I just screwed things up by doing that. Alright, well. So we need to figure out how to how we can possibly get up there with just this. Just this. Because I can't just move it up there like that. This isn't enough. I need like another block here somehow, while also having this platform raised? Because... Yeah, if I like... If I have you here... I don't... Yeah, that's not enough. Yeah, that's, that's not enough to actually get you up there. It's not enough to get me up there either, not that that would really be useful right now, so... All right, uh, now we'll uh, cut again, and hopefully I figure out the solution, like, immediately again, so we don't actually have to cut. <laughs> ah, here we go. Here we go, there we go, yeah. So I had to use- I, I was- I was just doing it at the wrong spot. I was trying to do it, like, over here, but that's why this platform's here, is to get you to the upper level. So then we can then bring you over here and slot you in on that. Got it. Oh, but I needed to be on that middle platform before we did that. Okay. 
There we go, puzzle solved. They felt the air beneath them, the distance ever widening. Uh, oh, I kind of thought we were going to be done now, but uh, evidently not. So, I need, like, to get my other block up here now. But how will I do such a thing? Hmm. How will I get my other block over here? These are questions, and I need answers. Hmm. Because I need two blocks to get across this. But I couldn't get both of the blocks up that way. And to have this platform as high as this, I need both of the blocks sitting on the switches? And yeah, I can't like move the block while I'm standing on it, so I couldn't just with one block make it all the way over here. So we definitely need two, I think. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not totally sure what is expected of me here. Hmm. Is there something I can do maybe with this being raised like that? Or wait, I wonder... So, is it both the switches that causes it to raise as high as it does? Or does this one just like raise it a lot by itself? It does. Okay, okay, that's that's the solution then. I was I was sitting here thinking that you had to have both switches to get it that high, but no, really it's just this one raises it really high on its own. Got it. Okay, so now we can get you up here and we can get you up here. But uh not squash myself. There we go. Cool. All right, we did it. We did it. It took a little bit of uh, a long way down. Took a little bit of thinking. But we did it. Okay, so this, and then we move you over here. There we go. We did it. That one was pretty, uh, pretty difficult, actually, but we managed to do it. Proud of myself for that. Welcome back, friend. A resolve stirred within the stranger. Just a few more steps. It can't be much further. There you go. Alright, I still don't know what the deal with this pig is, but... I think we're gonna go ahead and end this episode off here, as we're at about 35 minutes, so... I hope you've enjoyed this episode of The Last Campfire, and I will see you next time.